it's changed. It's changed quite a bit. Uh, back in the fifties, there were many small farms, like like my grandfather's ten acre, twelve acre, fifteen acre farm, were very common, and you could support a family on that. Nowadays, it's impossible. So you you noticed. Uh, I'd say the change probably came in the late 60s, early 70s. A lot of the farmers, small farmers, who used to also work part-time, say, at General Motors, with lots of those farmers, and they worked elsewhere in industry. They would still have the family at home and work these small farms, and that worked. But that has changed, uh, economics and so on, the markets. Uh, you started seeing the little growers leave, and the growers who stayed bought up the small farms and became larger. And uh, what you saw was... Uh, Instead of a lot of small mixed farms, you'd see a lot of peaches were growing all of a sudden in the 70s, like more concentrated peaches and grapes were the two main crops. So the Niagara Peninsula was basically half peaches, half grapes in, in, in dollar value and acreage-wise also. But since um, a change in grapes from the, from the Nebraska type, the, the, the North American grape, to the vinifera grapes, what do you call this kind of grape? Uh, they had the Foxy's Taste or something mm-hmm. called it, which is not very good wine. Everybody sort of laughed at it. But the change came when they went to the Vinifera grapes in the late 60s, again, in the 70s. A lot of changes in that, that time period. And they said you couldn't grow the Vinifera's here. All growers proved you could grow them, and they did. And they switched quite fast into these Vinifera's in the 70s and 80s and 90s. There's was a huge change, and even a lot of... Plums and peaches and cherries went into grapes. That was where everybody went. There was a huge demand by the wineries because people were looking at this nice vinifero style grape for wine. And uh, what you see, and especially in the last 20 years, even the peaches have switched to grapes. And what, what's really dramatic is you come down the, along York Road and look to Niagara Lake to the lake. This is when you really all of a sudden realize what happened. All you see is grapes and windmills, wind machines. It's, it's, it's just dramatic. And uh, years ago, you saw no windmills because they're, they were a recent innovation in the last, say, 10 years. You saw none before then. And uh, nice grapes and windmills. And where are the trees? There's no tree fruits. Well, there's few. All along the lake, Lakeshore Road, that's where the tree fruits are left, basically, the peaches. And there are pockets where we are by line 6 and 8, and that, there's a bunch in there. But uh, it's been dramatically reduced, uh, the the tender fruit tree. It's very dramatic.